Fingerprint Analysis, brought to you by Mallory, Christina, Shin, and Jordan. There are no two fingerprints alike, not even twins, as discovered when the twins Will and William West were incarcerated in the same facility and were only distinguishable by their fingerprints. Although partly genetic, friction ridges on fingers, palms, and soles of the feet begin forming in the 10th week of gestation and finish by the 16th week. Ridge formation is affected by random movements of the fetus and mother, stress and pressures during the pregnancy. The result? A fingerprint is formed. Pores form a single ridge by uniting and connecting together. They serve to assist in gripping and handling items. Fingerprints are composed of 98.5% water and 1.5% other substances, such as amino acids and salts. This other category is responsible for the latent prints due to sweat produced by the pores. In a crime scene, there are three categories of fingerprints. Latent, which are hidden until development, patent, which are visible without development, and etched, which is a fingerprint impression in a soft surface. These fingerprints may be dusted, chemically developed, or photographed. The first level of identification involves the examination of ridge flow and the general morphology of the print. These cannot be used alone to individualize. The analyst will determine if a loop, whirl, or arch exists by locating deltas and cores. A delta is a point of divergence of two type lines. A core is the center of the pattern. Loops begin on one side of the finger, curve around and upwards, and exit on the other side. They are composed of a core and a delta, and make up 65% of all fingerprints. An ulnar loop opens and closes toward the ulna bone. The ridges originate from the little finger and exit the same side. A radial loop opens and closes toward the radial bone. The ridges originate from the side of the radial bone and exit on the same side. Whorls have a circular or spiral pattern. They are considered modified loops which contain two deltas and a core. They make up 29% of all fingerprints. An accidental whorl is a pattern containing two or more deltas that is not a plain arch, contains requirements for some of the other patterns, and does not conform strictly to a single definition. A central pocket loop consists of at least one recurving edge makes one complete circuit, which may be a spiral, oval, circle, or variant of a circle, with two deltas. An imaginary line drawn between the two deltas should not touch or cross any recurving ridge within the pattern area. Arches slope upward and then downward. They have no deltas or cores. Arches make up only 6% of all fingerprints. Tinted arches contain an angle or upthrust and look similar to a loop. Plain arches contain a rise or wave in the center. Composites of level one identification are a combination of loops, whorls, and arches. Any combination may occur. Examples include two loops, a loop and a whorl, or an arch and a loop. Alterations to a fingerprint include scars, genetic mutations, and viral infections in utero. To actually physically alter a fingerprint is impossible, as fingerprints extend beneath the surface of the skin. Any physical alteration will only result in creating a unique signature at the tips of your fingers. This is obvious in John Dillinger's fingerprints. Ridges can be destroyed, but will grow back creating a temporary disruption of the ridges. The scar is permanent if the basal layer of the epidermis has been traumatized. A viral infection in the womb, such as dysplasia, may produce pockets for even further identification. Ridges that terminate development at 16 weeks 
but were not completely formed are known as incipient ridges. The second level of identification involves minutiae. Minutiae occur at points where ridges end, fork, or change direction. The absence and shape of a ridge is also significant. These will be used in conjunction with all level 1 detail to individualize the print or exclude a match. A ridge bifurcation occurs when a ridge divides into two or more branches. Two bifurcations can exist together. These are examples of different combinations of bifurcations and ridge endings. Analysis of a fingerprint begins with the identification of minutiae, which are generally selected using a computer program. Analysis by examination of unknown and known fingerprints is based on shared minutiae, which match according to distance between ridges and general location. Computer programs can be used to facilitate the matching of a known to an unknown print. Such programs scan and digitize images based on ridge endings and bifurcations. The program determines the degree of correlation between the two. Ten known prints can be examined and compared to an unknown single print. The use of the Automated Fingerprint Identification System, or APHIS, expedites this process significantly because it is an autoclass system. This is simpler because all patterns of whorls are classified as whorls. To apply what you have learned, visit the National Institute of Standards and Technology website for fingerprint matching.